Here is Kamonia, just a few kilometers separate us from Kamako, the borderland with the Republic of Angola. Thanks to the socio-economic reintegration arm of the emergency humanitarian response CERF, implemented for Congolese citizens expelled from Angola, Dorcas, 16 years old, has been economically reintegrated and sells breakfast to some 200 travelers who troop to her cafeteria. In extremis last June, she was saved thanks to the free medical care scheme provided by the CERF project implemented within the General Reference Hospital of Camonia by the United Nations Population Fund, as testified here by Dr. Georges Bouchabou. If she had not come on time, it would have been a disaster. She was diagnosed with an internal bleeding, which is called hemoperitoneum in medicine. And medically, under these conditions, after two hours, this woman can die. Dorcas's life would have turned into a nightmare if Fideline, the UNFPA humanitarian midwife, had not been deployed to Camonia. In spite of a five-month ectopic pregnancy, Dorcas was raped for two days by two police officers in the detention room where she was kept following a neighborhood quarrel. On that Sunday night of my detention, Two policemen raped me. The first one raped me three times, while the second violated me twice. The next night, another policeman started raping me, and I fainted suddenly. After recovery, Dorcas benefited from the self reintegration package and is trying to cope with her new life and has taken steps towards empowerment under the care of her parents. The entire family is also experiencing fear and threat as they dared to accuse police officers. The threat of the police officers does not spare Fideline either. The humanitarian midwife is forced to deliver daily services in fear of reprisals by these two rapists who, once denounced, fled from Camonia, leaving Dorcas and her relatives with severe disappointment. There is no way out for rape cases involving military or police officers here in the Kasai, and it is a disappointment for most of the survivors we take care of. No doubt about the complexity of the Dorcas case, because thousands of rape survivors are desperate about impunity and the neglect that characterizes legal management of sexual abuse of women in the DRC. To this end, the United Nations Population Fund promotes the One Stop Center initiative where holistic care services are offered to survivors of gender-based violence. To allow survivors of gender-based violence to be able to benefit from multi-sectorial services within a single premise. This allows us to better monitor different cases and keep track of some particular survivors of sexual violence. To reduce the trend of rape cases involving uniform personnel, UNFPA raises awareness on the best practices. UNFPA's advocacy resulted in convincing the Congolese National Police to subscribe to a zero-tolerance policy and sign an action plan for the elimination of GBV within the police force.